Yeah, this uh, this video is on uh, how to modify your riding mower back tire. Um, get a you get a lot of slippage with these uh, terrain tires here. Um, it's aggravating when you're on hills or stuff like that. So I thought I would just kind of do my own modification on it. This is just a uh, this is just an old Krausman mower, uh, 19 and a half horse Bridge and Stratton. Um, I've done a little bit of modifications on it. I built this uh, brush guard type deal here. I had some fog lights on and got my chain here. I'm going to get me some one of those LED light bars. Thought I would do that to where be easier to mow it in the evening or you know early in the morning um, it's not really nothing special just thought I would do this modification on the tires and kind of send it out there in case anybody was interested in doing it yourself it's pretty simple what I did was uh, I just uh, jack my mower up with a floor jack here and uh, you know just stabilize your mower let your deck down put you something under each side of your deck and um, I mean you could do it different ways if you wanted to but this is how I did it put you a block or something on the other side just to keep the deck kind of pushed up to keep the rear end stable and um, just jack it up high enough to where to be off the ground and won't have no chance of catching traction. And uh, I recommend putting it in forward gear and low, like first gear, just in case something went wrong, get caught, it would go forward instead of backwards on top of you, which it shouldn't anyways. But anyways, <clears throat> start with putting it in first gear Lay something in a seat if you've got a safety switch to where it'll keep running. Make sure your deck's disengaged and your your deck's dropped down. Uh, start it up and uh, get it down low idle and let your <clears throat> your back wheel spin. Then take you a, a skill saw just a regular skill saw and the way I did it and you can see one here that I modified right here it looks pretty good I cut it probably I made sure I tried to cut it no you know above the, the tread depth I tried to stay above it a little bit where it wouldn't damage the tire itself but I just went across through there and cut me some grooves to where it created like a lug pattern I mean you can see the difference in this one and this one here a lot of difference this is just the weight I added on this is just a big cast iron big cast iron stand like for a umbrella or something that I picked up and I just stuck it on her to give me some more traction no big deal but this is what it looks like and the way I did is just take my skill saw and put my skill saw up there while it's running. I just pulled my guard up, pulled my guard up, got my mower, got my base underneath the wheel there to where it would be steady and got it just close to it and hold it, hold it in one spot. And on mine, it seemed like the tire would kind of weave in and out. I don't think these tires are perfectly round. So that's why I stayed off of the full depth of the tread, just in case it cut just a little bit lower in some spots than others. And just kind of let it set in one spot, then work it over until you get you a wide lug pattern there, however you want to do it. And just keep moving over until you get the... Uh, 
tread pattern that you you desire but um that's kind of how i done it and if you want to see a little footage here i'll kind of see if i can get this thing steady let me pause it here i'll just show you some of the uh little bit of the skill saw action on the tire um, I hope the noise don't get too loud.
Okay. Sorry about the noise. This is the product afterwards. I get a little deep in that middle there, so don't go that deep. You can see how I went with these other ones. But I can see how this, these, like they call on tires, rain grooves. I think they could probably help too about it sliding sideways. You can modify your front ones too, if you wanted to. But any, anyways, this is picking at this old house, and I'm a do-it-yourselfer and carpenter and everything else you can think of. So I just thought about this one little modification I wanted to do and try and just thought I'd upload it and see if it'd help anybody out there. It's kind of fun doing it. Just be careful with the skill saw. Don't get cut. And um, and as you know, you'll probably need to uh, scotch one side just a little bit with something so the other side will turn. Whichever side you're going to do, just switch it to the opposite side. And peace out. Have a good one. Uh, coming from picking at this old house. And uh, have a good one.